Hello, this is a screencast to show advisors how to approve course requests for their advisees. First thing you do is log into SIS. Then you're going to click, uh, make sure that it's on faculty up here on the right, should be in, in faculty. Then you're going to click under advisory into your advisory. You'll see one of the choices at the top is course requests. You'll notice that this will show all of your advisees and it will show those who have not made requests, those who have made requests but are awaiting approval, and those for whom you've made approvals and are awaiting enrollment. This will also default to the first trimester. Note that you must go through all three trimesters and approve requests in all three trimesters before you're done. So when you're done, all of your advisees will be listed under and waiting enrollment in all three trimesters. If a student has made requests, as I said, they would be under awaiting approval. So in order to change, manage, or approve a student requests, you're going to click on the manage button to the right of the student's name. you'll see over on the right any courses that they have requested. If you click on the R at the top, you should go, maybe you have to click on it twice, you'll see below courses that have been recommended for the student. And if they haven't requested them, you can ask them why, or you can simply request it for them by clicking on the plus button, and then it will jump up into the uh, list of courses that the student has requested. To get back to the top of the list, you can just click on the checkbox. It says approved, but that is not uh, what it means. It's just going to show you the courses that have been requested. Um, the numbers here on the left are not meaningful. I don't care about the order of the courses uh, over here on the right. This could be anything. They can actually be changed, but it really um, doesn't matter at all. You just want to have the courses that they need over here on the right. If you're going to deny a request, you can click the Deny button. Uh, and now you see that we have a list of denied courses as well. We can get it back and undeny it. Um, if you approve courses, you can click Approve. And now you see that now we have a check mark there, whereas we used to have an X. So you can't remove a course once it's been approved. This course I can remove just by clicking on the red X. If I unapprove it, now I can remove it if I'd like to. Notice this one has a lock. The lock icon means that it's required. So for some students in some grades, some courses are required, and those will have a lock. You, neither the advisor nor the advisee, can remove those courses, but they do need to be approved. So when you're done, everything over here should have a check mark uh, by it in order to approve. In order to rank preferences, um, you have to use the little note field. So if you see this icon here, it'll open up a note field. And so for instance, this student has two arts courses requested. We can open the notes field and put in a one here and a two here. If you want to add any other text, you can add it. Just make sure that it comes after the number so that when we export these and when we start chunking through these for actual scheduling purposes, the very first character we'll grab is the 1 and the 2 in order to understand uh, the preferences. Uh, the software is a little funny about these little note icons. They seem to stick around after you're done. Um, you also notice that the icon is changed to show that there's a note. It's got a little pencil in there, whereas this one doesn't have the pencil, so that there's no note there. Um, if you wanted to add a course that uh, for some reason the student hadn't requested or you're working on it together with the student, you can come over here and click on a department, any department, and you'll see a list of all the courses offered in that trimester. Note some interesting things. You can see if the course has a prerequisite. You can see what the credits are and the length of the course. You can also see if the student has already taken the course. So here you'd show that it had been, they've taken ceramics before. Um, you can get a description from the department, if you'd like here. You get a description of the course here. Note that this one has a description, and it tells you what the prerequisite is.
And just to show you what it looks like if you try to request a course that you haven't taken the prerequisite, if I remove that course and then add it, it's going to say, yo, prerequisites have not been satisfied, and you might still say, okay, no problem, I'm still going to take it. Um, or you could, could decide to reject, you know, deny, or just remove the course request based on the fact that the student um, hasn't taken the prerequisite. Um, but if you hear from the instructor or from the department chair that they are approved for it, then you can go ahead and, and approve that course request. So when you're done, you can click the back button. It'll take you back to your list of students. Remember that you've got to go through all three trimesters and make sure that you see what courses they've requested in all three trimesters. Um, the other, one other red herring on this page is this bulk require button. You should not click it. You don't need to use it. You shouldn't be requiring courses for your advisees. Uh, that's it. I think if you have any other questions, please uh, let me know and I'll, and I'll help you.